So it's 7.02. Technically late. But I'm going to say it's close enough. I'm on time. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> because that really matters. Not, not really. Okay, so back to your regularly scheduled Prime Trilogy Hyper Mode. <laughs> we are just as blue as before. I to do a bit of a horror segment this is this is about as fusion as this game gets trying to be a little creepy and unnerving all right back into it see we've got these corpses and if you run into them or shoot them then they disappear. So I think there will be one, like, right... One of these doors coming up. It's gonna be just, like, right in front of us as we open up the door. I swear that's a thing. I'm not lying, I swear. So, wave to the energy tank. Hello, energy tank. I'll be back for you later. Oh, hey look, it's Metroids. Not the usual Metroids though. These ones are special and honestly more annoying. Uh, boost ball. Oh no, we locked the door behind us. Also, they put these like really annoying things on the ground here that make trying to boost through these corridors like super annoying. So if you're wondering why I'm not boosting through here, that's why. Got more Metroids. It's fine. They're in, you know, cages. That's... We're well protected from them. If you just look at the map, like, overhead, this area can seem a bit confusing, but it's really not... Too bad. Uh-oh, we can't go this way. Whatever will we do? Oh, hey, look, an alternate path. Oops. <laughs> the bomb radius was so generous on that. I was pretty far away and it still worked. So I believe we gotta go this direction. Yep. Hidden path number two. Oops. Oh, hey, we're in this, you know, little cut-off section. I wonder if there's something good in here. Oh, look, something good. Can help us with all of those uh, spots we've been seeing. Also, two energy cells. Woohoo! It's only the second one. Yep. Ooh, that looks like. You know, actually, there are only four in there. Interesting. This is our original missile la launcher count for the fifth, then? Seeker Missile has always been an interesting upgrade to me. Because in Prime 1, or sorry, Prime 2, at least, ooh, you hear, you hear that music? Probably not as well. I, I have it down a little bit, but music got very ominous. But in Prime 2, the game that is introduced, like, the Super Missile already exists as an item. So... 
I for I forget what the comparison in damage between the no I I went the wrong way. But like the comparison between the seekers and the oh, high. So I I forget like I feel like the super missiles were still as powerful if not more powerful than like hitting something with five secret missiles. So in terms of combat, it really wasn't that helpful. There's gonna be another one here, yep. All right, here. They are uh, vulnerable when they're charging at you. And of course you can freeze them like any other Metroid, so. That's the easiest way to deal with them is to freeze them and then, then kill them like that. If you try to just shoot at them normally, they'll start like phasing in and out of this plane of existence, and it's just frankly annoying. <laughs> oh, look at look at all those Metroids. Here you're gonna charge. Oop! Somehow you missed. I swear these are not as fun <laughs> or as easy as I'm making them look. But yeah, I just I never feel like the seeker missiles are that great for combat. Oh, see, yep, there you go. They they cheated. You know, if, if I were one of these, I'd just be in like that other plane of existence all the time. All right, here you wanna you wanna charge at me? I guess not. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so honestly, like, any any damage that you do before you get a freeze-off doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm going this way. I don't even think I can get back this way. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, I need to go right here. Oh, look, another one of these doors. I, I, do you think they've drilled the point home enough at this Juncture? I, I don't know. I, I'm still not sure how to use this. We're gonna have more of them. Is that three? No, that is four at once. What what is, what is this nonsense? All right, that's one down. <laughs> I wasn't even aiming at you. Well, actually, I was. The moment, the moment that I noticed that it was charging at me, uh, I, I like swapped targets and just no scope basically. I'm surprised that missed. Here you're gonna charge. There we go. I I feel like the the Metroids here don't have more health on hyper mode. All right, energy tank. That brings us up to eight, which I think figured out last stream that's as many as we're going to be able to get here uh, before this, the end of this particular world. Because the other ones require either future upgrades that we do not yet have or are on you know, the pirate homeworld, which we have not been to. All right, guess I'm going into hyper mode. I, I swear you, I swear that pirate went into hyper mode. I didn't see it though. Oh well, not super important. So, oh, there's a, there's a missile there, I think. I'm just gonna take care of them. I think I could probably run past them, but it's better safe than sorry. Oops. Oh, hey, I actually killed one of them <laughs> normally without freezing it. Oh, oh, come on. No, I think I actually did hit it.
No, all right. So now that we've done that, we can resume assembling the Theronian bomb. Also, yeah, you use a lot of missiles during that segment because of all of those seeker missile doors. I looked at my missile count and realized it was, you know, pretty low. Because I don't use missiles that much. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, here we go. This should be a free missile over this way. Oh, and it's also, like, required, so... <laughs> Even freer. You just got to be careful with the seeker missiles using the lock-on functionality because if you lock onto something with the seeker missile, you will target it multiple times. Which is totally a thing that you can do. Oh, we just have to go back down. Okay. But we don't really need to do in this case. One missile each is sufficient. So that should be bomb component one available. Or sorry, this is two. I've already picked up one. Yep. It'd be interesting if this were more of a puzzle than it is because you're kind of forced to pick up you know, that part first and then the other two parts, which I'm not sure if the order matters or not. Because they're basically identical. I've, I've never really tried because, like, why wouldn't you get this part now before heading back over to East Sky Town? There's really no reason not to. Also, I totally forget about this save station every time that I, that I go through that segment. Like, it just... I don't want to say it's, like, completely unnecessary. Because uh, it, it is the only proper save station on this side. Except for, like, the one way out by the Seeker Missiles. But... I think it's also just because you have the uh, landing site so close to it. Anyways, uh, we need to head for the elevator back to East Sky Town now. Which I should probably have looked at the map a little bit closer. So it's on the opposite side of the room from me right now. I need to figure out there's, there's an elevator I need to take. I think it's this one. No, this is not the door. At least I'm pretty sure. Wait. Nope, Skytram East. Oh, yeah, it is on the other side, so... I misled myself a little bit, but this is the correct way. Yeah, that's what I meant by like some of these areas. They're just so tightly packed, the map. It's a little hard to read at times. Oh yeah, you don't get the normal Skytown music while you're over in West Skytown. Just a random thing. Okay, so last part is, let's see, I want to say it's over here, opposite. Did, is it marked on our map? I thought, I thought they were marked on our map, but I guess not. Yeah, that's the, that's the last thing we have to do before the seed, isn't it? Mm, for fast approaching a segment I am not <laughs> particularly fond of. Like, especially on hyper mode. Which is the fight approaching the seed. Okay, this is the correct door. Oops. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, so what's the best way to get to this? I think it's going to be taking the ring. Yeah, it's probably just the outside ring. Oh, no, it's it's right here in the middle platform. So, yeah, we'll, we'll need to go over that way regardless. So, you get a little bit of a choice here. <laughs> Which direction you want to go, uh, left or right? I believe this will be slightly faster. Interesting, like, how the camp... Oh, hey, we have the screw attack now. Although we can't get the... Uh... Yeah, there's an energy tank here. It's so annoying. <laughs> we don't have the spider ball, so we just have to, like, walk by it and just stare longingly in its direction. Or, or is it? No, it's a ship missile. Okay, I don't feel as bad now. Can I scan it? I can. You can also get this lore as well. There is an energy tank in Sky Town that's related to the spider ball, though. And it's not the one right next to the spider ball either. So, actually, does that mean there are two? Yeah, that's definitely an energy tank. So, <sighs> only I had that. <laughs> I could get I could get both of those. All right, so we need to go to the other side. Yep. Which means Did you hear one of those enemies like the wall enemies? I swear I heard one like that that sound of it getting killed. Maybe another uh enemy or Whatever uses that sound effect. I don't know why I really care about that. Hey, three missiles. All right, we are here, I do believe. Well, almost. Oh, so there's a... There's a morph ball cannon that we can take to the other side here, but unfortunately, uh, that actually does not get us where we need to go. So yeah, as long as we just have to deal with these bubbles, that's fi fine. I, I shouldn't have said anything. How did I miss that? Come on. Uh. All right, well, I, I, ha I have to do this properly, like out of pride now. Which is weird, like they're always at the center. It doesn't like lay them in different positions. You don't have a lot of time with those, though. I will say that. Oh, hey, look. Last, the last bomb component. If there's one thing I do appreciate about this segment is that uh, since your ship is carrying all these parts, you can't use it to teleport around. So you actually have to, you know, think about uh, traveling and where you need to go. I'd like to see the attachment mechanisms here. You know, how are these parts of the bomb staying on that? <laughs> Inquiring minds would like to know. Excellent work, Samus. The Corellian bomb is complete. I'm, I'm sorry, were you uh, saying something? <laughs> let, let me just take this cannon real quick. Excellent work, Samus. The Corellian bomb is complete. We are now ready to execute the final stage of our plan. Place the bomb in the cargo hold of the spider pod. 
Oh, dang it. I, I didn't want to take the elevator just yet. Whoops. So, very, very heavily recommended that you come over here <laughs> and save before doing the next segment because it's hard. Okay, uh, cursor, cursor, there you are. Did not really need the uh, health recharge, but the saving my progress bit. Definitely appreciate that. So we need to go through the Aurora chamber this time. Forget if you get more dialogue. Like, if you talk to it again, we can try it out. Hello. We are now ready to execute the final... Oh, uh, I forgot. You have to you have to deposit it in the spire pod, and then come back to get the all important dialogue. <laughs> I wish you could just, you know, get the briefing now and then drop it in the spire pod and just start the sequence right away. That would be swell. Feels a bit unnecessary, but whatever. We'll play along. Just clear out the puffers so that we can jump safely. So I guess I'll do this before saving. Just so we don't have to listen to it again. The colonial mob is primed and ready. Excellent work, Samus. To drop the mob onto the Leviathan shield, you must move the bomb pod directly over the Leviathan and shut down the pod's engine. This must be done manually. This is a dangerous mission. Will you accept it? Your mission, should you choose to accept it. The secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. I'm used to it. Oh, right. I forgot about that. The game actually locks this door after you do that conversation. So I, I guess I kind of did a bad then. I'm sure we'll be fine. Eh. Okay. Just, you know. Stop, stop being in my way. That would be great. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's probably gonna be a lot of hyper mode. I can. I can guarantee that.
We got a really cinematic cutscene this time. Oh no, we're falling! So, how does this thing achieve forward propulsion? That's what I would like to know. Like, there's the engine on the bottom, which, in theory, will keep it afloat. But that doesn't really explain the horizontal movement. Alright. You don't say. I wonder what tipped them off. Maybe the giant spire pod? Yeah, defending the spire is by far the worst part of this because <laughs> it takes damage so quickly on hyper mode. Like, it's just not even funny. And you can see how much damage this skiff takes. Like, this just gets ridiculous. That took like two E tanks worth. Like, th those bomb pods that these pirates launch can also. Still got on. Dang it. Wait, nope. Okay, we're good. Oh, there's another skiff, though. Where are you? You're on that side, right? Where is it? I can't see without the... What? What the heck? What, what just happened? I fell off. How did that happen? Why, also, why can't I not lock onto the skiff? Oh, hey, that did kill them. I saw the skip flying over this way, though. Where did it go? Ah, there you are. Where is it going? Since there you are. Okay, get back over here. I swear I remember that being worse. You just really have to be aggressive with taking out the skiffs. They're by far the worst part. Deploying escape pod. Oh, you know, we're just activating the escape pod. We'll be out of here in no time. Escape pod malfunction. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll be out of here in no time. That's, that's not going to be a problem. Oh, oh, hey, there's actually a timer on there. I don't know if I have ever noticed that before. Um, you get audio notifications every time a minute passes. So, like, that's how you're supposed to know while you're down here. Okay, time for some welding. Yeah, the, these definitely start getting really hard. Time becomes a factor. Alright, should be the last of them. Cool. Sounds great. Okay, that's that's enough. Wait for the door to open. Oh, hey, I did it with like plus three left. It's not easy to do. <laughs> All right. So last thing, last thing to do here is Helios, which is an interesting fight. Definitely technically demanding, but I don't think it's too bad from a deadliness perspective. Yeah, watch watch me eat my words. The game is nice, and it drops us off right here, next to the landing site. So that's convenient. I'm going to do my usual here, and just enter the ship without saving, and then I'll save once I've actually landed in the seed. In the event that I do meet my demise, then I have to redo a little bit less. Oops. <laughs> so these ones have, you know, seeker locks on them. Are you kidding? 
Sorry, these ones are usually less finicky than the ones in Prime 2. I swear it only takes one. Yep, see. <laughs> Must have just had a misfunction there. Sure, I'll be actually. I will be using Seekers in this fight because, of course, they geared the fight around it. This is an interesting concept for a boss, it's definitely unique. It's a little, you know, flying robot thing, so. There's one thing that uh, is nice uh, oops. Uh, about the damage in this game is that you can tell if you're doing like real damage or stun damage based on the color. So stun damage is yellow, so that's what we're doing right now. And then uh, you know, actual damage is red. Where, where'd you go? Hello? Yeah, that, that is fine. So you can actually kind of like almost stun lock it in a, in a way. Using like the remnants of your uh, hyper mode. To uh, stun it again really quickly. I generally won't use hyper mode on this phase unless it's like left over from something else. Ooh, we're getting the uh, giant this time. This is interesting. So you have to like use missiles on the limbs, but they're only really vulnerable when it's attacking you with them. So you kind of have to like aim in that direction before you fire the missile to make sure that it locks onto the proper target. Oh, right, and if you knock it down from this, it gets you a free stun. How did that not... Honestly, I did not remember this being like this easy, even on hyper mode. Yeah, well, I had I had to go and say something, so now we get, now we get this whole nonsense. Why are these not working? Oh, well, there we go. I opened my mouth. Man, I fell behind on this. That that was rough. Well, I guess I figured out what not to do. I think I can damage it while it's in this state. Okay, this is fine. Oh, see, but it caught itself because it had two arms. Oh, it reformed the leg? Interesting. Got no arms to save you now, though, huh?
You know, that definitely went a lot faster than Mogonar. That one attack, though, it, it gets out of hand very easily. As you can probably tell. Like, once I fell behind, there's basically no way I was going to catch up. I feel like that's really the only dangerous attack that it has, though. Woohoo, hyper missiles. These are these are pretty nice actually. Okay. Aiming up, this is gonna be difficult for me. Yeah, rent, rinse, repeat. We, we we know this whole shebang. You gotta press A for some reason. Hey, I did something. I feel accomplished. Go me. No, perhaps it's just as well that uh, we didn't finish Alicia last time. Probably would have been close if I had actually started on time. But I'm guessing the pirate homeworlds is going to take us a bit longer. We, have, we also have to do the Valhalla too. Yay! Worse, the corruption appears to be spreading very quickly. It's as if the planet itself is transforming into pure Phazon. Left unchecked, this corruption could spread to the entire galaxy. The time to act is now. You must destroy that Leviathan and stop the spread of further corruption. To that end, the Federation is planning a full-scale assault on the pirate homeworld. The attack will commence as soon as our preparations are complete. We have marked the location of the pirate homeworld on your map in Samus. Be on the lookout for Gandreda. Can, can I not find Gandreda? Can, can, can that be optional, please? <laughs> Okay. Uh, and the Gandreta fight is not that late into the pirate homeworld. I might get to do that this stream. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, if I was worried about any of these previous fights, like they've all ended up for the most part being easier than I expected. This one will not be. I, I can guarantee you it will not be. Let's see. We, we have to get the x-ray visor first. And then I think that is, it's going to get it after that. And we go back for the spider ball. And that gets us the hazard suit. And... 
take a little detour to get the Nova Beam at some point. I forget if the game auto saves here or not. I, I, I may as well. Just to be safe. This is the point where regular enemies get a lot more lethal because we're going to be encountering a lot of pirates. As you might imagine. Also, we're bluer now. That That's a cool thing that happened. We are more corrupted than before. So, new turret here. A little more resilient. Also, is firing uh, no beam at us and not. Uh, the plasma beam, like the previous pirate uh, turrets were. All right, we can, we can totally do this. We'll crack this code. It's just a permutation of four, you know, that we can't see any of the keys, so we have no idea if we got it right or got close at all. I'm not even sure if uh, you can do that without the visor. Like, even if you could just you know, guess upon the answer. This is not where we need to go, but figure I just point it out so we can look at this missile. Okay. To level three, which is, you know, indicated by three of whatever that mark means. It's, you know, space pirate language or something. All right, quick, go now. It, if only it were that easy. Samus, Gandrata's communication capsule has revealed additional information concerning the pirate facility. We believe there is a cargo supply route that connects directly to the sea. That sounds convenient. The gate in this room appears to be its main entrance. Oh, that sounds really convenient. It will be impossible to go through that area. That sounds inconvenient. Okay, so the fight is not now. There's a fight in this room at some point. It might be when you're actually uh, like doing the uh, approach to the seed once you have the hazard suit. Okay, so path forward is to the right, path to the left leads to the missile uh, over yonder. I think we're getting close ish to 100. We're at 90 now. <laughs> okay. Get around the corner. As long as we hit at least 100, I'll be I'll be happy. I mean, I suppose now that we have the hyper missile, uh missiles are a bit more useful to us. Oh, hey, look, another energy cell. Hmm, so if I if I don't need to get like the missile expansions or uh, there's a ship missile on the Valhalla as well, which I really don't care about. Um, so if I skip those, I think I'll need at least one for the energy tank, I wanna say. But outside of that, we can we can get away with not collecting all of the energy cells, which is nice, because some of them are a bit of a pain. Oh, hey, look, a missile expansion. I should take those out before they get the opportunity to go into hyper mode. Just 
best plan of action. Okay, so uh, that leads into the chamber over there, which, you know, we can't get the missile there at present. So, hello, hi, hope you don't notice me. Oh, that actually was the way forward. Whoops. There's another missile under the floor. So that should be 95. Yeah, so we're, we're pretty close to getting the x-ray visor. Which means we have to, is it the mining facility? No, no, it's not the mining facility, it's the research facility. That Gendrid is is at joy. Hooray! We unlocked the thing, which is the X-ray visor. I definitely think the way that they implemented the X-ray visor in terms of visuals in this game is better than Prime 1 because Prime 1 it was just like white and blue and so it made it a little hard on the eyes oops that's the wrong one but this one you know unimportant things are kind of in this blue and then important stuff is highlighted in like the yellowish orange color so it's a lot better if you ask me in terms of visuals. Okay, that, that, that just, you know, brings the track into position such that. Oh, we missed it. Darn. Oh yeah, I never looked at the missile count. Yep, 95, okay, as I thought. Now, some of them, like for most of them, you'll need uh, the extra advisor. But there are some of them that just don't require it. And if you go into them thinking, oh, I need to have the extra advisor open in order to access this, then uh, you won't be able to see the symbols with like with the extra advisor on. <laughs> and it's just the stupidest thing. It's like, why why even do that to the player? <laughs> no, I, I wish we could do that. That would be nice. I think this is, I don't know if that's scripted or not. Let's come back this way anyways. Just take take care of them. They also have more health because of the armor, which is great. This is Federation Trooper NCG forty one. Can anyone read me over? Repeat, this is Federation. No, no, I, I I do not I do not hear you. I'm transmitting on an encoded channel. I was taken prisoner during the attack on Norian, but I've managed to escape. I have information about how to bypass the acid rain and get through to the seed. I'm sure we could probably, you know, find the some Federation people who would be willing to come and extract you. So that that way, you know, I don't have to go and do it myself, and that would be fantastic. Oh yeah, we're def we're de we're definitely getting to that fight this time. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we need to go downstairs and get the map, and that's what lets us land at the research facility. That's where the fight is. Like, 
Oh, I, I activated you. Okay, so, see, I swear, so, like, here. Okay, this one actually is hidden. We'll, we'll find it eventually. Crap. That was, that was my bad. I can't read the symbols. Nope. Huh. We we got also got the landing site for the seed, I think. Well, We'll see it when we go to the world map. Nope, I did not do the jump. <laughs> Whoops. You can you can jump all over that if you're cool. I'm not cool though. As evidenced by me falling off the ledge. pointed that out earlier but it's cool okay unlike me all right and we are here is there a save point before the fight don't remember. What's what's really dumb is the fight like is right before this area. Um, you see that barrier off on the left side of the screen right now? That's a shortcut back to your ship, like right after the fight. But of course we can't unlock it from this side. That would that would be too easy. So, it's only accessible after <laughs> the fight. Go figure. I always think this looks cool if you're in the X-ray visor because you can see the. I don't know the doors to opening just looks really cool. X-ray visor, I think. Okay. There we go. Thought you might have to grapple it at first, but no, you just you just shoot it. Um, Oh, right, we have to shoot this from there. The other side. This is a very secure gate that you've got here. Although I suppose they probably don't expect people to like crawl through that small tunnel. Ew. Sorry, I'm scratching my head. That that's that's why the aim went all crazy there for a moment. I guess I'll save those for later. Okay. Uh, this is where we get pirate commanders, isn't it? Can I, can I just not not activate that? That would be that'd be great. It's gonna trigger at some point. Oh, it's after I do this whole segment. Um. Right, okay. That's how I get to this. We've already gotten 100 missiles, so... This is icing on the cake. Okay. Back to business. I think this is 
what, a ship missile or just a regular missile up here? I forget which. It is a missile of some sort. Oh, okay, well. We can just skip that other platform, you know. No big deal. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there's an energy tank here. <laughs> okay, um, that's a thing. Cool. There we go. Just getting out of the way to be safe. I totally forgot that this energy tank is in here. Like, I'm sure I get it every time. Yeah, it's just sort of there. Scrap works. It's just not as memorable because it's like just a nondescript morph ball tunnel, you know? Yeah, this, this is the one. Also S. unfortunate. My aim was just a little bit off towards the end there. Okay, I swear. Nope. There's one, there's at least one of these. I, I, like, I'm gonna be mad if I just, like, misremembered this thing. Okay, so we activated the door. Yay, we can get out. But of course, it will not be that easy, because why would it ever be that easy? be kind of cool if they like showed some pirates like just kind of showing up in this area as you went back through the tunnels or something such that like you kind of know okay that, that's a ship missile so cool cool story bro Here we go. It is so hard to do that. <laughs> it is it is possible. Very difficult, but possible to actually prevent this fight by um, shooting both of those before the pirates show up. But as you might imagine, it's not the easiest thing to do. I, I remember there being like more pirates than just those two. Now, this is your first time encountering the commandos, so I guess they go easy on you a little bit. And this is why I saved these uh, containers. Or later. Because I knew I would be uh, losing it, some health at least. Actually, you know what? I, I have the map, right? Ah, there is a save point. Oh, thank goodness. Um, oh, that's not, that's not where I'm going to be going, though, is it? Let's find out. No, that is not. I'm not sure if I can go that way or not. Ugh. So, there you go. That one. That was a lot more lenient on the timing, and how much time you have to uh, destroy them before pirates show up. Oh, hey, guess what? Pirates. That's a that's a big surprise right there. Yep, yep, hyper mode. Okay. 
commandos, because why not? Okay. That's all of them. Oh, hey. The game actually just forced me out of hyper mode. Which is fine. That's, that's what I wanted anyways. So. Okay. There's another energy cell here. Like, the game starts giving you, like, a bunch of them here. Probably because... Uh, they wanted to include a certain number that are, like, relatively easy to get in case you don't want to do all the stuff in the Valhalla. But they put them later in the game such that you can't... Well, I mean, you can't really bypass this section of the game anyways. Uh, you still have to do, like, all the plot events here in order to even uh, be able to, you know, get to the end of the game. So, it's not like this is even skippable, but... Okay, we're at four out of nine energy cells now. Oh no, the Metroids will be loose. Because we removed the energy cell. How terrible. I'll just take care of these just so they're not bothering us. Oops. Okay, well. So, some big deal that was. We need to go upstairs now, I do do believe. Oh, can I make this cycle? I can. Mission accomplished. Okay, so here's the infamous, sorry, here's the infamous scan. Metroid Project Dread is nearing the final stages of completion. Was that a planned 2D Metroid title that we have yet to see to this day? The world may never know. Hello. So you missed uh, the fight to the seed in Alicia as well as Helios. Neither of which were particularly challenging fights. Do I do I have to go this way? Well, actually, I might not be able to. I think acid rain maybe. I was lamenting the fact that I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, this is just for a missile expansion, but I guess I'm here now, so I'll get it. Oh, yeah, ship grapple. No, I, I ended right before Seekers, so... Got, got the Seeker missiles and assembled the Theronium bomb. Did the, the fight leading up to the seed and Yeah, did did the seed, so I'm in the pirate homeworld now. I can't get the spider ball yet. I need the grapple voltage from here first. So you're you're just in time for the Grand Gandorita fight. <laughs> yes, I just got to Pirate Homeworld. Not not that long ago. Got the X-ray visor, and then I, you know, came here to the research area. Which means we are, you know, you're just in time for that fight. which is rapidly approaching. <laughs> a lot, a lot quicker than I would like. Uh, got another hour or so, probably. I, I doubt that I am going to finish uh, 
Pirate Homeworld tonight. And I try to screw attack. Oh yeah, that, that'll go over super well. It's not like she moves very, very fast or anything. <laughs> Hmm. If only I could climb up magnetic rails. Yes, yeah, she does charge at you a lot. With li with literally right here. Okay. Here goes everything. Can I just not save her from the pirates? Liar. <laughs> you know the path to the seed entrance is exposed to the acid rain. However, I've seen the pirates using a special suit shield that protects them from the elements. Oh, you mean like the one that we just saw? If you can acquire one of these shield units, you could probably make it to the seed. Lucky for you, I've seen where they make these devices. Here are the coordinates. Literally the next room over? Oh yeah, no, she she would be more than capable of taking care of them, but you know, got got to sell the whole story, right? I even know a back entrance to that location, but we'll need your help activating the lift that takes us there. We've got okay. to engage the security <laughs> lever simultaneously. Can, can I not? <laughs> here, let, let me just uh, go over here and and grab this health. I, I hope you don't mind waiting. I think that's it. Oh, this is not going to be fun. I have to, like, do this with timing. That That's not super strict. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's, let, let's just, let's just not. Never trust strangers, Sammy. This is gonna be fun. At least the music's good. Oh, shockwave attack. Oh, interesting. Yeah, if you if you could stay in this form the whole time, that would actually be great. Where did she go? Oh, flying pirate. She has so much health. <sighs> nope, the bats. Berserk alert again.
Yeah, I actually have like enough space in this arena to get three of them reliably. Ah, crap. Yeah, I jumped too early for that. Ugh. That stupid attack. Ugh. I was doing good at dodging that before. Not so much this time. Dod dod dodging the lunge attack is probably the most critical thing at this juncture. Yep, that one. Please keep doing this. This this one is like easy to deal with. I need to leave my shots a little bit better. Lunge is dangerous. Okay, I promote time. Uh, I need to. I need to get my hands a rest. I'm. I'm taking a break for my hands because my left hand, just the one that I'm using for the main controller, get very cramped. I'm also probably going to get grabbed here. Okay. Somehow I dodged that. Like, I knew she was going to lunge there. Hey, that's cheating. Stop that. That is not fair. Come on. I got the stun off. I should be able to get the... Damage in.
What the heck? Why can I not damage here? Like, what the... This is, this is stupid. This is not, this is not the working that, like the way that, that it's supposed to work. Like, this is just not fair. <laughs> That's what I hate about this fight. Oh, come on, what the? Yeah, it's it's this second part of the phase that like I feel is just patently unfair. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> so much friggin' health here. See, now I can actually damage, like, the Rundus face. Like, it just wasn't working for me. Initially. Just, like, just not fair. <laughs> We're on to phase three. Come on. What the? I didn't see her morphing. She's gonna start going invisible here in a moment. Oh, that was cheap shot. Oh, come on. Ah, that was unfortunate.
Yeah, I forgot how useful, like, hitting the disc fans towards the end of the fight can be for getting health back. God, shaking her off is not fun. <laughs> Ugh. In certain ways, not as bad as I remember it. I think the the last segment there can be troublesome if you don't shoot the fans that she sends out to uh like there because they those can drop health because i think the problem that i usually had with this fight in the past is you get to the end of the fight and you're just like low on health and you know if you don't get those then there's basically no more health for you to grab <laughs> at that stage which is just not pleasant Yeah, and you just mash a lot, because, like, hitting charge beam shots is not the easiest thing to do. And she has a ton of HP. That part, I did, I do remember, and would definitely agree is still correct. Oops. Right. You get to steal the energy from this one. Oh, my, my wrist is definitely very tired <laughs> from this. The good news is that I don't think I'm going to have to do any too intense fighting for a while. So right now, we're going back to Sky Town for the spider ball. And let's see, with that will come... Uh, I know there's an energy tank right next to it. There's another energy tank on Sky, t Sky Town that I think we can get. Now that we have it. Yeah, Moganar was pretty, pretty bad too. It's another one where you're just mashing shots.
Hey, look, we ended up at our ship. How about that? And I think I will probably... I'm probably going to go and get the energy tank that's in Icy Brio as well. Once I get the spider ball. No, I have not gotten the one on the Valhalla yet. Although, like, before I landed on the pirate homeworld, I think I had two energy cells. Now I have four. So if, if I, well, I guess, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to check it out. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it this time or not, but I guess we'll see. Uh, I believe we want landing site A. It's a little bit closer to the central ring. Uh, well, there's also the one at the front of the ship. I haven't gotten that one, so technically I have five, if you want to think of it that way. I'll, de I'll definitely want as many energy tanks as possible for some of the coming sections. Because some of the, the fights leading up to the Nova Beam can be pretty intense for uh, energy. And then... Uh, Particularly the, the part where you have to guard the pirates. Oops. Oh, that is so terrible on hyper mode. Really? I'm, I'm one step ahead of you. Thanks. <laughs> Big help. Oops. <laughs> right, we have to give energy this time. So you can't can't really see this because no camera, but Oh great, we get to do another zip line. Oh, it, it's gonna break though. That's 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 the best part. Hooray. We don't really have to do the zip line that much. Uh oh, I think we broke something. Well, now we really broke something. Oh no, we're trapped again. However, will we get out of this predicament? But I, I'm resting my aiming <laughs> wrist on my other wrist, so... If it looks a little awkward, like when I try to grapple stuff, that's why. Oh, this this, this took me forever <laughs> to figure out when I was younger. All right, so get you into the air. Oh, I missed. Dang it. <laughs> the stupid missile lock on aim. Come on, come on. Grapple, please. The game is pretty lenient on that. Like, I'm pretty sure as long as you just hit it while the thing is in the air, it'll trigger the cutscene. Doesn't have to be entirely uh, on point. Hooray, spider ball. Which I don't think changes the appearance of your morph ball at all in this game. <laughs> no, okay. Nothing else to do here. Oh, this one is a missile. Okay, so the other is just the one energy tank then. That's in the other room. So I suppose... 
I could just forego this if I really felt like it. It's kind of hard to see the fire <laughs> when it's like straight on like that. Crap. Thankfully, you can catch yourself there. Oh, hey. Energy. That's nice. Just, you know, get past these. Yeah, well, I guess maybe this isn't... isn't so hard to get, after all. Oof. <gasps> Almost fell off there. Not... Now, I suppose it wouldn't be the biggest deal. Because <laughs> the, the last solid ground we touched was up here. So we should respawn up here from Terminal Fall. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, and we did. Getting our formal introducing to boosting off of Spider Fall tracks. It's nowhere near as abusable as it was in Prime 2. Kind of fix some of those. Oops. All right, so we'll get this one, and then I think I'll head over to Brio and get that one in the ice area. Also, be because there's, like, the rail underneath you there, you don't have to do any of that uh, special stuff. It's great. Oops. Pah! I wasn't ready to, to grab on. That's kind of important. Yeah, I can, I can look at the GFS after that. Also, going down is so much more fun than going up these. It's just like, wee! Oop, okay, pointer. Uh, what's late, Brio? I'm, I'm, I was, I was talking about the one in the icy area. Oh, you're talking about the one where you have to raise the ship up? I'm not sure. I don't know about that one. Yeah. I'm not I'm not 100% sure if we can get that one like right now or not. Cuz I I forget everything that's required. The E cell. Samus, this is Admiral Dane. I've ordered the Federation fleet to walk to the pirate homeworld and begin the invasion. I think it's time we took the fight to them. We'll contact you when we're ready to commence our assault. Cool. Big ones to get the energy saw. Sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'll, I'll, I'll head to Brio. Also, camera, can you work with me, please? I don't want to go boosting off the edge. <coughs> oh, are you saying... Yeah, I'm not sure if you need... Yeah, there's like a... There's a ship missile or something. You have to unlock it from both sides because you have to pick up this, like, head and then put it down somewhere else. And it's a ship missile. That's just... Blech. They can Yeah, lift the battery. Where does that battery go to? Or do you just have to put it back down I 
I don't remember. I'm, I'm guessing the rest of the rest of this stream tonight is probably just going to be uh, going around and picking up some items. I had to guess. Got to be prepared. Batteries for an E cell. Oh right, that E cell in Brio. Oh, that is annoying. Yeah, I would definitely be skipping that one if possible. Yeah, okay. That's just, it's super annoying because you have to like go all the way through. Um, is there an easier way for me to get up to, no, no, I have to just, I have to go this way anyways. Yes, no, the ship, that, that ship missile is the one where you have to actually like approach it from both sides. Like you have to unlock both sides in order to uh, get it. I just want to point out like we're, we're significantly stronger than we were the first time that we came here and it still took us like a while to uh, dispatch that Reptilicus Hunter. Oops. Yeah, screw that E-cell then. Nope, <laughs> I did not want to go down back down the tunnel. We need to go up. I always got to be careful not to do it too early. It's, it's really tempting. I don't know why I got a morph ball. <laughs> I just, I'm going to need it again. Uh, what else is here in Fiery Brio? Uh, there's that missile expansion, which is not worth it. Is that the only thing? Yeah, that's the only thing. Okay. Definitely not going to bother with that. It's far out of the way. Although, uh, how far am I from getting 75%? How is it? I think 37% when I started the stream today. Okay. Oh, right. I'm actually supposed to come at here from down down there, that ledge. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Can I... Finagle. I totally did it. <laughs> cool. Oh, 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 there I go. I'm going to just make sure I'm actually facing the right direction. I need to get yep back to the other side. Okay, let's try three with a little bit of space. This one doesn't matter as much. Oops. <laughs> they definitely restrict what you can do in these ones a lot more. Like they learned their lesson with uh, some of the earlier spider ball puzzles. So that is 10, I think. <laughs> I 
All right, I guess I will try for the energy tank in Thorn Jungle. Definitely be better to have it than not. If you're fancy, you can just like keep on screw attacking straight across to this wall. I was not able to pull that off though. It looks su super cool when you do it. And back we go. All right, so I, I do believe we are done with Fiery Brio for good. Uh, that was not very nice. I do not appreciate that kind of behavior. All right, so I will I will attempt to approach it from the thorn jungle side then. Let's just do ourselves a save and enter here. Uh, uh, pointer, pointer, please. <laughs> I'm aiming I'm aiming at the screen, I swear. So let's see what what e tanks are left then. So there's the one here in Thorn Jungle, there's one on the Valhalla. Uh, one of them is on the Pirate Home World. I'm pretty sure. And then that just leaves one more, I think. Oh, right, these stupid phasoids. These are actually super annoying. Uh, I have to go this way. Oh. Stop that. Stupid door takes forever to load. Uh, see the right. Oh, no, we want to go to the left. Yeah, we definitely want to go left. Okay, as soon as I can figure out what left is. Would you kindly stop that? Load, please. Ugh, come on. Oh, you know what? I'm being stupid. Okay, seriously, how long does this take? <sighs> Way too long. <laughs> that is that is the answer. The 
These things are more resilient than I was expecting. Okay, back again. I think there are more pirates here. Or not. I guess not. Cool. I'll, I'll take no pirates over pirates. Battery! Uh, yeah, okay, I, I remember. Because you have to unlock the other side first before you come through on this side in order to get the battery across. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for the next cycle. Oops. Cool. Oh, right, there's one in the Metroid hatchery. That one, I remember that one. Yeah, so we'll get that one at some point in the future. Whenever we get back to that area. Oops. Um, I, c I can just make it drop the thing by going back to the ship. Yeah. But there has to be a way for me to drop it, because otherwise I'd be stuck. That would be not good. Uh, I have to walk through all those stupid phasoids again. Yeah, it'd be kind of mean if they, like, forced you to solve the puzzle. <laughs> like, you cannot leave until you do this. There we go. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. It's a shame you can't, like, <laughs> get some of these energy tanks before Gandreda. At least it's not as bad as having to do Boost Guardian and Alpha Blog with only four energy tanks. <laughs> That is the worst. It's a really cool looking area.
Although I'm noticing that that skybox texture of the stars, not 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 so great. <laughs> if they uh, port this to switch, they should definitely uh, make that a little more detailed. And again, this was originally a Wii game, like a 480 Wii game. The GFS Valhalla. Energy cell acquired. You are now carrying five energy cells. Oops. Okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't know where I am. It's like all these different varieties of the... Uh, that's oh no they're dead Jim ah yes the, the mini troids all right you're gonna aggro yeah <laughs> Like, you're gonna aggro onto me at some point. Yeah. Like, okay, I, I guess they're just gonna hang there and <laughs> take it. That's, that's fine. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to end, like, right when I got there. It, it went on for just a bit longer than I was expecting. Oh, hey, okay. that, was, that was not very nice. You can actually use the grapple voltage on the uh, inglets here. It's one of those, you know... Little tips, quite helpful. All right, it's uh, it's not this way. It's actually upstairs, I think. Gonna go this way just in case to check. This is the ship missile, I'm pretty sure. At least it's where it ends up. Nope, just a regular missile, I guess. Huh. Nope, these things. These have like a lot more health on the moment, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I guess we can get this now. So, no harm in grabbing that. A bit of a freebie. All right, I just have to sit here and build up speed for 12 hours. Hyper mode failure, excuse me. Do you know who I am? Excuse me. Just 
things can actually be kind of annoying. You know what? You are not worth it. Just get me out of here. Okay, so this this one is definitely required. This particular energy cell. No way around it. Uh, I can grab the missile expansion on the way out. Since, yeah, you need to go this way and it takes you down to the bottom anyways, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there is an O beam door. That's what I thought. You can actually get a lot of health back that way. It's like a surprising amount of health that you can leech out of these things. I suppose they probably have more health in hyper mode. Unless, wait a minute, oh, is it this door? It is this door, okay, cool. So that is, th that's the one that leads to uh, the AU chamber, right? That's the one you actually have to go through to like complete the game. I see. Yep, for the code. Gotcha. See, I'm, I'm just not used to like, I just come this way like when I'm ready to get the code most of the time. You know, I don't consider that energy tank all that essential. Um, how many, how many do we have? It looks like we only need one more. So let's see, how, how many did that actually take? Three, that's three total. And one of them you can find here, so actually you can probably, you can get that before Gandreta then, right? You should have at least two energy cells just um, from various points in the game before then. So I, I think you can, wait, did I just, did I go, did I go the wrong way? Oh, wait. Where is the where is the missile? Did I take a wrong path somewhere? Okay, well I just did the same thing again. <laughs> All right, so clearly I'm insane. Let's go down this way then. It it was that easy. <laughs> it was literally that easy. Go me and my pro navigation skills. Hmm. Well, I guess that's something to keep in mind if I ever do another hyper mode run. Yeah, it definitely looks like we only have one more energy tank left. And that has to be the Metroid Hatcher one. Huh. Interesting. I guess we could have gotten that now or previously uh, it does not spit you back out at the bottom now yeah, whatever doesn't matter either way just get up you know nice close and personal on this particular door i'm gonna ignore you guys I should probably have more for this. Oops. Oh well. 
So you know what's crazy? There's a missile expansion over there. And you're supposed to use two energy cells to get it. Like two energy cells for a missile expansion. That seems really worth it. Okay, so I think what I will do is I'm going to fly to back to the pirate homeworld. And then I'll save once I get there. It's actually really easy to grab the... Yeah, ship, ship missiles are honestly a pretty bad upgrade. Oh, ne no, never. I mean, considering this game is... Why did I click on Alicia? I don't know. Um, this game is not bad about giving you ammo. Like, for things that you need. Like, they're, they're almost like power bombs, but just, like, less useful. And, yeah, like, after Bria, you don't have to use them. Ever. <laughs> uh, like, I, I like the fact that you get upgrades for your ship. But then they are very situational. We te technically speaking, you can use them on enemies, and I did. I did use it uh, on one of the like Berserker Knights at one point. But yeah, they're cause you can't even use them in a lot of situations. They're just not available to you. Okay. So, next time, we'll be getting the hazard suit, and then, uh, let's see, yeah, it's up up this way, down in here, and then, yeah, you go to the Metroid hatchery off to the mining, off to the mining site to get the Nova Beam, and then, after that's the trip to the Seed, yeah. I don't know why I'm bothering to shoot these. <laughs> I'm going to be quitting the game. Here in a moment. So I'll definitely finish Pirate Homeworld next time. Not sure if I'm going to make it to the end of the game, though. Just because I still have to get the code... And then get to the part of the home world to activate the portal to the end of the game, and then there's the whole you know, section of phase. So, is now in orbit above the home world. I'm guessing I probably will not finish it next stream. We're ready for the final assault, but the base is protected by a barrier that prevents us from landing. We need you to disable this defense system. Unit 242 has located its control center. Here are the coordinates. Alright. Well, I guess I have to save again. because <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I won't have listened to that. Very important. Communicate. But uh, that is going to do it for me tonight. So, thanks for tuning in. Let's see. Will Twitch actually acknowledge... Uh, other people are alive. Well, that's weird. Huh. Interesting. Okay, raid message. Uh, gotta be something with Gandreda, I think. So, uh, I'm 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 terrible at coming up with raid messages. I swear. Uh, oh, hey, Pikmin. Interesting. Alright. Raid target. It's gonna be this. Ooh, okay. I got I got a good one. It's gonna be uh never trust strangers, Sammy. So I will commence the raid. start in a few moments.
I'm, I'm, I'm getting better about this. Uh-oh. Something went wrong. Try running that action later. Looks like it's happening. All right. Go, go, go. Watch now. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> See you next time.